So we have a few millennials in the audience, and we have a couple questions. Uh, one, uh, as a fellow millennial, what is the best way, in your opinion, not only to bring this subject to our attention, but to actually inspire action when many feel our future is already dismal with global warming, terrorism, and many other serious issues today? Robin, and either, either of you. Well, there are many issues which occupy the attention of all of us. Only two of them are what I would call existential. Existential meaning our very existence is threatened by them. One of them is the nuclear bomb issue, which I've been talking about, and the other is a, a global, cli global climate change. The difference between those two is not in the ultimate outcome, but in the fact that the nuclear issue is here and now. It could, we could have a, a catastrophe like depicted in that cartoon we just showed you this year and next year, whereas the global warming is going to take several decades to really materialize. But both of them are existential and I believe should have equal priority in our thinking about what we should be doing. Uh, one other difference is because the global climate change has so long to develop, we have more time to do something about it. Some scientists fear they've already passed the, the uh, point of no return. I don't think that is true. But in any event, we, even if we can't completely stop it, we can at least diminish it, and we should be doing that. So those are the two big existential issues in life. We all have many other problems we have to worry about day in and day out, but those two ought to be very at the very top of our list. Robin? I think I, I can only speak from a sense that we are a democracy. We have the opportunity to get involved in these issues. I think many people in the nuclear issues feel that it's not their domain, not their right. Somebody else is taking care of that. Some expert out there is making us safe and protecting the stockpile of nuclear weapons, and we shouldn't have to worry about it. And I, all I would say, this, this is a democracy. People do need to get involved in these issues and bring a sense of optimism that you can make a change. It's very incremental, and it, a lot of people in the nuclear field work their way up for many years before they are making a difference. But there are public debates beginning right now about the modernization of the nuclear force. Learn about it understand it and talk to the people who represent you in Congress about what your feelings are about it. That's one small way to engage in this issue as a millennial, as any age, um, and where you can make a difference. Uh, Gloria, let me bring just one issue up <clears throat> to follow on with what Robin was saying. One issue <clears throat> which we're going to be we're faced with today and it's a big issue related to this problem, and yet most of our citizens understand nothing about it. And that is we are on the verge of beginning a new nuclear arms race, like we did in the Cold War. Uh, Russia has already proceeded with the development of, of whole new generations of ICBMs, SLBMs, the whole panoply of uh, nuclear carriers and nuclear weapons, and I, myself, expect that their, part of their plan is to actually break the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty and start testing new, new nuclear weapons. It will be easy for them to, to rationalize this because the United States, to its great shame, has never ratified the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty. So if that's underway. I have no doubt that the there will be huge pressure in the United States to follow suit. We have, on the books, actually, the plan for so-called recapitalizing our nuclear forces, which over a 30-year period is estimated to cost about a trillion dollars. Now, that's a number that's so big you cannot relate to it. But believe me, it's a lot of money. Even on a year-to-year -year basis, it's a lot of money. It, it's, uh, you can think of many, many alternatives, you would, ways you would like to spend that money, even if you're only defense-oriented. You can think of conventional weapons you'd rather spend it on than nuclear weapons. But we are on the verge of that, and there's no public discussion of it at all. So that's something that we ought to do something about right away.